Uh, the word I want to share with you will be called the price of a missed exit or the price of taking the wrong exit. And the word will take from Matthew chapter 7 verse 13 and verse 14. Enter through the narrow gate for the for the gate for the gate is wide and the way is broad that leads to destruction and there are many who enter through it and verse 14 seventh chapter for the gate is small and the way is narrow that leads to life and there are few who find it we live today in a condensed world of multiple many roads and each road leads somewhere. So the density of roads doesn't surprise us. Слово, которое мы прочитали о пути, о дороге, о ширине и о узкости, которые Христос сказал, интересное. Uh, the word that we read today that Jesus mentioned about the road, the way, the narrow and the broad way, it's, it's a very in interesting topic. From my Russian mindset, this was one of the least favorite portions in the scriptures. In этом особенно втором стихе было много много проповедей построено. And uh, based on the second verse, verse 14, many sermons were built in the, in the Russian culture. На узком пути. About the narrow path. И мы слышали много объяснений по поводу узкого пути. And we heard many explanations about the narrow path. Я не знаю много об американском объяснении это, этого стиха. I'm not fully aware of the explanations that are given concerning this verse in the American culture. Но мы пели песни об узких пути, об узком пути. But in the Russian culture we sing songs about the narrow path. Как мы должны страдать? 
how we have to suffer on this path. И какой этот путь очень очень узкий, как ухо у иглы. And how narrow this path is, almost like the ear of a needle. So narrow. Ты пытаешься влезть в это в это путь, и ты никак не можешь. That you're trying to get into this path and it's so difficult and you fail trying to be on this such a tiny path. And with your feet and with your hands and with your head and with everything you're trying to get into this. Because it's such a narrow И что там иглы и черни всегда на пути мы пели такие песни. And that there's always thorns and there's always uh, obstacles and rocks on this path. И это это возможно это. And all of these things are uh, somewhat true, possible. Но, но Иисус Христос говорит что-то другое. But Jesus in here indicates something different. Он говорит о широком пути и широких вратах, но ведут погибель. He talks about the broad way and the broad gates which leads to destruction. Если мы правильно читаем эти эти стихи, if you read these verses in their context, широкий путь для нас известен. The broad way is well known to us. И широкие врата. And the broad gates. И много людей на нем так живут. And many people are on it today. Но и правда та, что здесь сказано, что на нем разрушение. But it's also the truth that on this path is destruction. Дальше Христос продолжает говорить о узком пути, но на нем есть жизнь. But then Christ continues to talk about the narrow path which has life. В нашем понимании обычно мы понимали, что жизнь на самом деле здесь говорится это там, у вечности где-то очень далеко, и нам трудно это себе представить. And for many people, when they see word life mentioned in this verse, they immediately refer it to somewhere very far in eternity after you die. А здесь просто узкий путь и все. But here on earth, here now, is the narrow path. Но, narrow. Но это, но это but it's not fully true. Христос говорит не только о жизни в вечности. Christ doesn't only refer to life in eternity. Но говорит о жизни вообще. But talks about life in general. Потому если это жизнь в целом. So if life in general. То узкий путь представляет что-то, что говорится здесь что-то о чем-то другом. Then the narrow path that leads to it, it is referred to something else. Это здесь Христос говорит не просто о страданиях. Christ in here doesn't just talk about suffering. Не просто только о чернах и волцах. Not just about the thorns and the thistles. Потому что эти вещи не дают жизни. Because these things, thorns and thistles, don't bring life. Но Христос говорит о каком-то узком пути. But Christ talks about some kind of a narrow path and narrow gates that lead into blessing, into life, into healing, into freedom, into good marriage or good family, into abundance, into good career, or into education, or into influence. Узкие врата и узкий путь ведет какой-то интересный такой путь, но он заводит благословение. Narrow path and narrow gate, it's a very interesting thing, but it brings into blessing. Что это такое? What is that? Я хотел бы этот узкий путь, конечно. I of course would like this narrow path. Как как about about you? What about you? Узкие врата, узкий путь. Narrow gates, narrow path, но проводит жизнь. But it leads you to life. Среди многих путей, каких сегодня существует, тысячи миллионы дорог. Amongst millions and thousands of roads that exist today. Иисус говорит о какой-то одной дороге. Jesus refers to one road. Для тебя, для меня. For you and for me. Который он имеет. The road that he has. К благословению. And that road is guaranteed to lead to blessing. Он не предлагает тебе тысячи дорог. He doesn't offer you multiple or millions of them. В никуда. Into nowhere. В проклятие. Into curse. На, везде и нигде. Where you are everywhere and you are nowhere. И ничего нет. And you have nothing. Бог имеет для тебя специальную, определенную, узкую, 
дорогу к жизни. Christ has for you specific and and not in general, but just for you, a narrow path that leads to life. К твоему благословению Бог имеет небольшой фривей, где ты потерян и не знаешь куда. Christ, to your blessing, doesn't have a huge highway in which you are lost and you have no idea where you're going. И ты приходишь никуда. And you are going nowhere. Узкий путь. Это говорится здесь о цели направленной, направленности и конкретности, обусловленности. Narrow path in here is referred to being goal oriented and being specific and being focused. Это узкий путь. And that's what narrow path means. Если ты думаешь, что узкий путь это одни лишения страдания и потери, то это совершенно оппозит тому, что говорит Христос. If you think that narrow path just simply means suffering and pain and difficult, my friend, you're mistaken. It's not what Christ refers to. And losses. And losses. It's not what Christ refers to. Христос говорит о узком пути. Christ refers to a narrow path, который ведут жизни. It leads to life. Благословение. It leads to His blessing. Потому на мы должны быть заинтересованы, чтобы этот путь все-таки отыскать. And so we have to be interested to discover this path. Аллилуйя. Аллилуйя. А дороги, да, дороги, они имеют, они имеют exit, они имеют направление. Много дорог, но, но есть, есть, есть направление. Um, each road, they have their destination, but also roads have little exits by which you can get off of them. Большие или маленькие цели, они достижимы из-за дорог. Great or small goals, they are reachable because of roads. Далекие цели или близкие цели, богатые или маленькие, они достижимы. Big or small, rich or poor, far or close, destinations, they are reachable because of the road. Правильная дорога делает жертвой цель. A right path makes your goal become your victim. Какая не была бы твоя цель? Regardless of how great or how big your goal is, что Бог положил твое сердце, whatever God has planted in your heart, мечту, a dream, желание, desire, Он производит нас желание. Like the Scripture says, He produces within us a will to do a desire. Много путей существует. There are many paths that exist today. Но Бог имеет специальную, but God has a specific, которую которую ты достигнешь. A, path, a specific path that will lead you to your destination. Потому uh, мечта, цель не должна быть устрашающая. And so a dream, a goal, does not have to be frightening. College, college, business, business, построить дом, or to build a home, иметь счастлив, счастливый marriage, to have a happy marriage. Хорошую семью. A good family. Какую бы цель вы не имели. Whatever goal that you have. И, име, иметь хорошую машину богатую. Or maybe to have a good car. Какая бы ни была. Regardless of what your goal is. Крепкое здоровье. Or to have a health. Есть путь достижения к этому. There is a path to achieve it. И, и, и Иисус называет этот путь узким путем. And Christ refers to this path as a narrow не потому что он а, потому что он узкий потому что специфический it's not narrow because of the losses you have to take but because of the focusness that it requires Спец, он, 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 он этот этот путь а, без без побочных отвлечений And because this path requires specific concentration without side distractions мы сегодня усовершились, что имеем ну, дорожные карты, все дороги положены на, на, на карту, на интернет. 
где-то где в космосе GPS нам помогает ориентироваться. We are perfected today because all the roads are on the map. We have the access to those maps through our mobile phone. They are connected through, uh, you know, in the cosmos and uh, in the satellite, and we can get it through our GPS, and it helps us to navigate. И правила дорожные сегодня ужесточенные. Стрик. Не разрешается ни пить, ни, ни курить, и, 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 и не текстать, и не звонить. And the rules on the road today are got, got a lot more stricter. You know, you can't talk, you can't eat, you can't uh, drink, and there's a lot of things you cannot do while driving. Te te you cannot text, you cannot be calling people. Почему? Why? Потому что, потому что uh, ты можешь пропустить твой экзит. Because you will miss your exit. И ты можешь взять неправильный экзит. Because you can take the wrong exit Потом, doing these things. Потому так много uh, помощи сегодня предоставлено, чтобы сделать твой путь правильным. So much help is given from each side to make your path correct. Чтобы ты не заблудился. So that you will not get lost. И чтобы ты не взял неправильный экзит. So that you will not take the wrong turn. Моя, моя проповедь называется цена неправильного экзита. And my message is called the price of missing an exit or the price of taking the wrong exit. Неправильный экзит стоит много. Because taking the wrong turn will cost you a lot. Это по нашему такому физическому движению мы как-то быстро GPS ну находим обратно, обратно. Но на самом деле неправильный экзит претендует на неправильный direction. But you know, in the physical world, if you take the wrong exit, it's not really hard because your GPS will calculate your direction to go back on the road. But in real life, if you take the wrong direction, if you take the wrong turn, it will lead you to a wrong direction. Он претендует. Он запрашивает, он наталкивает, он заискивает, он пушит. It demands, it requests, it pushes, it leads you. Change your direction. And it changes your complete your direction, your course. Цена неправильного экзита дорогая. The price of taking the wrong turn is high. Неправильный выбор в marriage. The, the, price, the, the price of taking the wrong decision in marriage. Неправильный выбор в колледже. Wrong uh, decision in college. Business. Or your business. Очень много, много вещей. And many, many things. Когда ты делаешь неправильный, неправильный экзит. When you take the wrong turn. Впоследствии. In return. Это не безобидное явление. Listen, it's not gonna be uh, without any results or consequence. Берут иногда годы. Sometimes it takes years. Вернуться назад. To come back to the same place where you left. Забирает твою энергию. It takes your energy. Забир, забирает твои финансы. It takes your finances. Забирает так много. It takes so much. Но очень важно понимать. But it's so important to understand. Чтобы не забрало на фок, забрало, забрало направление. So that it will not take our focus and our direction. Потому что неправильный экзит он 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 толкает тебя на изменение направления. Because taking the wrong turn, it pushes you to change the direction and the course. Of... Когда мы посмотрим по Библии, when we look according to the Bible, однажды Дина, дочь Иакова, она просто вышла без направления, без direction, на неправильный exit и посмотрела на, на дочерей светских земных uh, людей. One day, uh, Dinah or Diana, or however you pronounce it, uh, Jacob's daughter, she went out to look at how the daughters of the world were living, the, the Canaanite, you know, how, what are they doing and what they're up to. Так, такой exit был без направления. It was, a, it was an exit without instruction. И получилось э, плохие последствия. And there were um, bad consequences. Когда мы, вы знаете, вот эта штучка, you know this thing. Она имеет очень много экзитов. It has a lot of exits. Тысяч, миллионы. Millions of exits. Заходишь и заходишь и заходишь. You Кон can. Конца края нет. You can um, enter, enter and enter. There's a lot of on ramps. И, 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 без, и без толку так на заходишь. And you can enter or exit to such a point. Что потом уже не можешь выйти назад. That later you cannot back out of it anymore. И так однажды Дина, Дина зашла. And that's how uh, Dinah uh, 
Дык, 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 дык. She kept on entering and entering, and she. И, и зашла. Сегодня гуги муги и во Фейсбуке и всякие читин uh, читин и люди так заходят. Today we have the same thing. We have Googles and we have chats, and people are chatting to such an extent that they get so deep. И, и кажется, что что экзиты, ну не такие безобидные. And it seems like that chat site or that uh, address with that click was so innocent. Но последствия это так дорого стоит. But the end point is so costly. Lord, let your mercy and your favor speak for her in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against anything that's not of God in her life. We command it out in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of her life in the name of Jesus Christ. We invite the light of God to expose every evil spirit in her life. We command it out of her life in the mighty name of Jesus. You evil spirit, you have no room in her body. We command it out of her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her body in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. What have you done in her life in the mighty name of Jesus? Speak. What have you done in her marriage? Answer in the mighty name of Jesus. What did you do in her family? Confusion. 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 What else? What else? Divorce. 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 What else? What did you do to her children? Oh, abuse, 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 abuse. What have you done in her finances? Poverty. <laughs> what else have you done to her life? Hatred, 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 hatred. What have you done to her career? Answer in the mighty name of Jesus. Answer in the mighty name of Jesus. What have you done in her relationship with God? I don't want her to serve God. I don't want her to serve God. You don't want her to serve God. She worships God. She serves God. She always calls him. She always calls him. You say, I don't want to help. She's not supposed to do that. She's not supposed to do that. That's She's not, not supposed job. to do what? Yeah. what? How many of you there? Answer in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh, many. Satan, your time has expired. You are in the arena of liberty and this is the temple of the Holy Spirit. And we command you to go out of her life in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Out of her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 Fire of the Holy Ghost in the mighty name of Jesus. Out of her life. 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 Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Out of her life. Out of her life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, let your mercy and your favor speak for her in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We declare you free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank, Thank you, God. Jesus. I'm free. Holy Ghost, I'm free. Amen. You are I'm free. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. <laughs>
just spiritual attack. I get attacked in the dream. I get attacked in my house. I'm downstairs. I hear footsteps upstairs. Oh, at work, it's just so many things that, I mean, I'm doing everything I can to help everybody, but everything I get back is just evil planning, evil destructions, people just trying to get me in trouble. And I don't understand what's going on, even though I pray to God every day, I worship God every day. And can you tell us what happened when the evangelist prayed for you with the anointing water? When they prayed with me with the anointing water, it was different because for uh, all of a sudden, I don't know if I lost myself. I felt like I was going in and out of consciousness. That's the one thing, because one thing I know what's going on, then all of a sudden I'm saying something and I hear what I'm saying. But Now, the evil spirit said that it had caused confusion, uh, divorce. When asked about what it has done to your family and your children, the evil spirit said that there was abuse. It caused poverty and hatred. Do you remember saying any of this? Not really. I think that after the word destruction, there was I was really just gone. I don't know. I, I was I, I, my consciousness was really taken from me for a minute there. I don't know what happened. I really don't know. I don't know how to describe it. And now, after receiving that prayer, how do you feel? I feel this freedom. I can't explain. I don't know how to use words because I feel like if you have ever been worried in your life. And you know that you don't know how to get rid of it. I don't feel it now. I truly feel free. God has done it for me this time. Do you believe that you have been delivered and set free in Jesus' name? I've been delivered and set free in Jesus' name. Jesus has hurt me. Well, we encourage you to make God's word the standard for your life, that this deliverance, healing, and breakthrough will be permanent in your life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Emmanuel. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs>